It's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol HMY. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Don't mean to state the obvious, but I will anyways. Very nice move today, not only from a price action perspective, but you look down here at the volume and by far the biggest volume this chart has had for quite a while. So a lot of eyeballs on this one. So let's map out some levels of support. Then we can talk areas of resistance. First area of support is what I would call the ideal level. I mean, if you say, hey, Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price can maintain up here above $2.45. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below there, I'm not saying the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But yeah, if the price can manage to stay up above $2.45, that would certainly be a huge sign of power going forward. As far as kind of the, the big picture of things is concerned, so this definitely assumes you have more of a broader term uh, time frame. But to really kind of just simplify everything, that is where the purple line comes into play, which is the 50 period simple moving average. And keyword there being moving. So as time goes by, that purple line is going to move itself higher and higher. So a very basic yet highly effective way to gauge the strength of the move, you know, the health of the move, this right here being defined as quote unquote the move, just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that purple line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full control, you know, the price action's in full health. However you can best visualize that, that is what's being represented there. Again, yeah, staying up above 245 would certainly be the best case scenario, but from the grand scheme of things perspective, as long as the price stays above that purple line, then the bulls 100% own the chart. Now, what about areas of resistance? For this, gonna scrunch up the chart here a little bit and go back into the history of things. All right, let's actually go to another time frame here because it's been a long time since the price has been up this high apparently. So let's see if the daily chart can help us out. There we go, wow, so we are, the price has not been up this high for quite a while. So let's see here. Next key overall area of resistance, gonna call right up there at about $2.60. And then the next overarching one, right up there at the highs from, when was that? Uh, let's say 278. And that was back in uh, April of 2017, so almost a year ago. So those will be the next couple areas of uh, resistance, but no doubt about it, very nice bounce is underway. And at this point, we're essentially in, in the middle of a breakout, but a lot, of, a lot of nice upwards movement. So we'll see how this one continues to break out. But at the end of the day, just keep on building higher bases, because as you can see right here, over the long haul, you know, you had this base right here. You have this base right there. If you picture these as stair steps, just build higher stair steps, build those higher bases, and overall the chart will continue to take care of itself. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.